Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this equation in uh, using slope-intercept form. So um, first thing we want to do in making slope-intercept form is we want to make sure it's in slope-intercept form, which actually this one is. Um, and then we want to do is be able to identify what the slope is and what the y-intercept is. So it kind of brings us to a question here. Um, how am I going to identify the slope, which is that number, that coefficient of x, like what's being multiplied by your variable x, in the case of x divided by 2? So it's important for us to understand a little bit basic of you know, fractions and how we use them. So let's do some numbers that we're familiar with. So let's say 1 half times 10. Well, basically, we can rewrite that as 1 half times 10 over 1, right? Because any whole number can be rewritten as a fraction, which can be simplified as 10 times 1 is 10 divided by 2 times 1 is 2. So basically, I can rewrite 1 half times 10 as 10 over 2. Now, in this case, I have x divided by 2. So to rewrite this, what I would like to do is rewrite this as 1 e y equals 1 half times x minus 3. Therefore, I can now, let's move this over, I can identify the slope as being 1 half. And my y-intercept equaling to 3. Now, remember the y-intercept represents a point. So I always like to write it as a coordinate point. All right, so that's the coordinate point where x equals 0 and y equals negative 3. Now, to simply graph this equation, all I'm simply going to do is first plot my y or my y intercept on the y axis, which is my vertical axis here. And so I have 0, negative 3. Remember, the origin is at 0, 0. So I'm not going to go left or right. I'm just going to go down three units, 1, 2, 3. And I make a nice big dot. Now, the slope represents a ratio. So we're going to use the ratio to find our next point. Remember, it's the change in y over our change in our x-coordinates, or rise over run. So I can go up 1 over 2. And I only need two points to create my line. However, I can continue using this ratio of slope to help me find more points. But just having two points, I've had enough. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph the equation of a line. Thanks.